Hi YouTube, it's your girl Ash, and as you can tell by the title below, I am back with six of the biggest books on my TBR list. Just a few things before we get started. I use natural light, so if my lighting fluctuates, please forgive me for that. I'm going to try to go in order from the least amount of pages to the most amount of pages. I have notes to the side, so I can give you proper details so if you see me look over there that's why I'm doing it I have my little notes here which you probably can't even see and I think that's it let's get right into it so that it's not too long first up is Americana by Chimamanda Ngochi Adichie I think that's how you pronounce it. Forgive me if I'm wrong. This book is messed up with my lighting, so I'm going to burn it down. But this book comes in at 588 pages, and it is a powerful, tender story of race and ethnicity. I picked up this book definitely because a YouTube, a BookTube made me buy it. Everybody on BookTube has been raving and giving this book rave reviews. It has made multiple best books of the year. Um list most notably uh, New York Times 10 best books of the year if I'm not mistaken so that is Americana up next is East of Eden by John Steinbeck this book brings to life the intricate details of two families the Trask and the Hamiltons and their interwoven stories. My edition comes in at 601 pages. Up next is The Host by Stephanie Meyer, who is the author of The Twilight Saga. This is the movie cover edition, and this comes in at 618 pages. This story is about the earth in a post-apocalyptic time being invaded by parasitic alien race known as souls and a predicament when the consciousness of her human host refuses to cooperate with the takeover of her body. So this is the hope. Up next is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I took the de the dust jacket off because it's easier to read, but it is Lady Midnight. This is the first book in the Dark Artifices trilogy. It follows Emma Carstair and Julian Blackthorne, who are introduced in um, City of Heavenly Fire, which is the last book in the Mortal Instrument series, which is why I think, contrary to some reviews that have been going around BookTube that say you don't have to read the series um, before reading this book, to an extent that's true, I would really suggest to read City of Heavenly Fire first, though, because we are introduced to Julian and Emma there, and it really helps you to understand some of the actions that they both take in this book. And this comes in at 720 pages. Up next is... Oh, Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. Yes, this is the fourth and final book in the Twilight saga i'm not going to mention anything about it because it is the last book and that would spoil the whole series if you have not read it this comes in at 756 pages and the last is 11 63 by Stephen King. This is the mass market paperback edition. My edition comes in at 1,089 pages. And I think the tagline speaks for this book. And the tagline is Dallas 11 63 
three shots ring out. President John F. Kennedy is dead. I originally got this book because Hulu did a six or eight part um, series on it featuring James, starring James Franco. James Franco is the bay. So I was like, I want to read this before potentially getting to see it. But other um, books got in the way. So I will probably get to this sometimes the beginning of next year. So that is it. That is six of the biggest books in my TBR. If you like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more content. Share. I really appreciate everybody who shares my video. And as always, until we meet again.